Hey everyone, and welcome back to Miss Azriel's Gaming. So we're going to get back into Stray Gods today. We are on day three of proving our innocence of not murdering Calliope. Uh, if you remember in the last video, uh, Aphrodite had went through so much uh, pain and suffering during a war that was caused by Ares um, and losing her husband to save her life. Um, she ends hers as her memories come back, which are lifted once the veil comes off um, for the, the host of the new Eidolon, uh, which we also found out is going to happen to Grace, too, at some point, so she will have Calliope's memories and basically becomes Calliope. She no longer will be Grace, but will have Calliope's memories, but also Grace's as well. So we are supposed to go and meet with Pan, uh, we found out from Eros and Venus that Medusa, who works for Athena, uh, kind of like a spy master, as Apollo said, um, might be the one who killed Calliope. So we know our mission is to talk to Pan. So let's see if we can, you know, go to these. I'm going to go to Apollo and see if we can hit the other ones as well. Hello again. I can't remember the last time I had guests so frequently. Mm. I did tell you we could discuss your memories and the Eidolon more in depth after the party. Did you have any questions or...? Okay, how many times have you died? Well, I feel different as I change. Let's ask When all these memories start to return, will I feel different? Well, let's see. It starts as dreams you'll have of places you've never been, people you've never met. Fleeting images, feelings. Then they'll appear while you're awake. You'll be eating breakfast and suddenly recall when you last ate something similar in the 17th century. The only difficult part is that eventually it can be hard to differentiate between your life and all those other lives. They blend together. That does sound confusing. <laughs> A little, yeah. And not all the memories will be good ones. It can take time to process. Okay, so while I still remember my own life... You said life. it becomes hard to differentiate your life from the others. How hard, exactly? It'll still be me, right? Grace, would you say that who you are is at least in part due to your experiences? I guess so, sure. Well, you'll have a lot more experiences. They won't feel like someone else's, either. It will feel like you did all those things. <clears throat> they will shape who you are now. Just as they shaped Calliope and all those who came before her. The good news is... You won't get all the memories. Each time we pass on... The older memories fade. Hmm. It kind of makes you wonder why... If, um, Aphrodite still has hers, then. It must have just been such strong memories of what happened to her that she just can't ever get rid of them. I mean, because she turns her Adeon over all the time, so you would think eventually hers would just die out, but... Mm, how's fading memories a Wait, good thing? how is it good that old memories start to fade? We're many thousands of years old, Grace. If all of those memories returned with perfect clarity, you... you'd drown in them. Yeah, but doesn't that mean you've all forgotten so much? Tell me, how much do you remember from when you were a small child? Bits and pieces, I guess. Not much. It's the same for us. The further I try to think back, the more blurry it becomes. I remember the important bits, but little else. Some of the really old memories. <laughs> There's so many mortal stories that get mixed up with them things my previous selves learned as legends, it becomes hard to tell. It takes time, Grace. You'll remember all the lies you've led, but at a pace you can handle, and nothing more. So how many times have you died? How many times have you died? Can I ask that? Well, we call it passing on, meeting the Eidolon, and it's fine. I've passed on 12 times that I can recall. 
So your name isn't really Apollo? Most recently it was Lucas. Everyone Lucas ever knew is gone, however, so these days I prefer Apollo again. Lucas? <laughs> Seems weird to think of you as a Lucas. It was weird for him, too. Much like yourself, Lucas becoming Apollo was somewhat of a surprise. Sounds like there's a story there. Okay, tell me about Tell this. me about this Lucas. How did he become you? Or is it how you became Apollo? Apollo had taken to surfing. He left the city without permission and roamed the coast looking for... Well, I'm not sure now. Whatever it was, he found it one night when a giant wave took him down. He was drowning, and he thought... I thought... This is finally it. But it wasn't. Lucas saw Apollo struggling and swam out to save him. He pulled us ashore, but it was too late. It took a long time to realize what happened. I didn't return to the city until years later. By then, everyone thought I was Apollo's chosen successor. So no trial for you, huh? It wasn't easy at first, without memories or anyone to guide me, but no, nothing like that. What if Lucas hadn't Wait, been there? what would have happened if Lucas hadn't tried to rescue you? What if no one was there when you... When I died? Uh, then the Eidolon of Apollo's line would have ended forever, I think. You think? <laughs> there have been stories about Eidolons that survive for a time and go wandering. That's probably all they are, though. Stories. It's not something we've had much opportunity to study, but... Normally, death without passing on is... is how an idol really dies. Forever. Yeah, that's all for now. That's a lot to consider. Assuming I'll even have time to worry about it, what with the trial coming. Hopefully this eases whatever concerns you might have had. Anything else you'd like to discuss while you're here? Um... Okay, let's save this one for last. Let's ask about the I'd idols. I'd like to know a little more about the idols. I am one now, right? You are. What would you like to know? Well, what are we? Where did we come from? If an idol is a soul that moves from person to person, it must have started somewhere, right? The short answer is, we don't know. If I think far enough back, I can remember bits and pieces. I remember my first Pythian games, the day the idols split in two over Troy, the day my first son died. But before that, nothing. None of us do. I vaguely recall the very first Apollo many thousands of years ago, but was he the original? Did he appear out of the ether? I couldn't tell you. I wonder if they're gonna bring in Artemis, which is Apollo's twin sister. Okay, um, how do you know where you're from? Isn't it strange to not know where you come from? For all you know, the idols could be aliens. Hmm, interesting. The notion that there might be some other place far away where we're the norm is comforting. Basically like Superman. Sadly, our memories are filled with blanks. There was a war with beings we called the Titans. A terrible conflict where half our number died, yet do I remember a single battle. The last was after Rome fell. Zeus called us together to relay the news. Told us to prepare for battle. And then, in the blink of an eye, I was in the 16th century. What made us forget a thousand years? What happened during that time? <laughs> we don't know. Athena calls that period the gap. Can you tell me more about the gap? The gap you mentioned. What was that like? Did you just wake up one day or? I know I was alive. I passed on my idol on who knows how many times yet. 
the moment I woke up, as you call it, all memory of that period was gone. It was Athena who found us. I was in France, I think. She came to my farm, and the moment I laid eyes on her, I just knew. It all came back. Did someone do that to us? Did we scatter to the winds for a thousand years on purpose? It's a mystery. What about Athena? I mean, she's the one who found you, right? She must have been aware. Athena claims she awoke on her own and spent the next century locating the other idols. We've pieced together very little of the gap or of our origins. We simply live with it. Gods we may be, but I'm afraid we don't have all the answers. That's a little sus with Athena. I'm starting to think maybe she's more in on the things than she's letting people know. Okay, let's ask him. He did mention he had a son. Earlier so. you mentioned your son dying. Did I hear that right? Can idols have children? It was rare, but yes. Back in ancient times, some of them even became idols themselves. Some of the idols are actually family then. Not anymore. Most of our children met terrible ends. A gift of the fates, perhaps. I don't know. The ones who weren't idols. It's hard watching your children grow old and die. Never understanding why they can't have the same immortality you do. Why you can't grant it to them. My first son is why I'm not permitted in Hades any longer. Let's simply say that most idols have stopped having children and maybe leave it at that. Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder if two idols had a child together, if that would change things. Uh, let's see, tell me more, tell about, me the more war. about the war. It seems to have had a huge effect on all of you. I don't think we would have left the old world otherwise. It was home. From Aphrodite's song, I know Ares betrayed everyone. What did you do? I... I caused it. I foresaw what was going to happen, so I tried to prevent it. I told Ares. I figured if the god of war couldn't stop what was to come... It and that's why he betrayed everyone. He decided the idols were a lost cause. Hmm. Because I told him we were. Prophecy suck. That's terrible. It could have happened anyway. Surely it could have happened anyhow. It was a big war. The biggest. Perhaps. We'll never know, will we? My time afterwards was spent helping the survivors. Keeping us on the move. If Hephaestus hadn't intervened, we would have all been kept. And he's... Oh, God, now we assume, like so many others, we are nothing more than refugees from a war long over, Grace. Okay, let's ask about Calliope. Tell me more about Calliope. You and her were good friends, right? Oh, for centuries, we were far more. I was the god of the arts, and the muses were my constant companions. We went everywhere together. They had many names, but the three most common were Cleo, Talia, and Calliope. The sisters of beauty, I called them, though they weren't always women. I never thought of that. Do idols change gender a lot? Most of us seek out inheritors who are like us, I suppose, but not all. Calliope, in fact, was a man in her previous incarnation. Kristoff, I think his name was. A poet Calliope adored. I was surprised when she made him amuse. It was uh, Calliope after Kristoff. Who did Calliope become after that poet, Kristoff? <laughs> you have to realize we're already into the period where Calliope and I weren't really speaking. She showed up one day in her new form, the one you met. 
an opera singer whose name she never revealed. We fought, as I recall. I told her she couldn't pass on every time she met an artist she fell in love with. Eventually she'd forget everything about who we were and where we came from. She said she'd rather forget than wallow in old memories like I or the other idols were doing. It was time to wake up and make the best of our situation. Calliope was an idealist without compromise. Always. She hated what we'd become. What I'd become. <laughs> she wasn't wrong. You and Calliope fought often? How you describe it? You and Calliope fought, well... As often as we saw each other. It's weird the audio keeps cutting out. Which became less and less as time wore on. However, she fought with everyone. Calliope hated the idols being kept secret. She and Athena would get into screaming matches over the rules, and it got... So I could no longer protect her. She moved out of Olympus years ago and kept to herself. I just assumed she was wrapped up with some new artist when, when I got the news. Do you regret not making up with her? Every day I think about our last conversation and what I should have said or done differently. The problem with immortality is that you think you have all the time in the world. There good things about Calliope. Weren't there good things about there Calliope? Wasn't only fighting with Calliope, right? Certainly there were good things too. A lot of journal sense? entries with him. Oh, she was marvelous. A force to be reckoned with, if there ever was one. In the darkest days during the war, it was her songs that gave us hope. She kept Aphrodite alive through sheer determination. I think Calliope cared about us, about art, about people she'd only just met. It was her greatest strength as well as her greatest weakness. I wonder why she picked me. I don't feel like I'm any of those things. You underestimate yourself, Grace. I see a lot of her in you. She chose well. Guess what happened to the other what muses? What happened to the other muses? You mentioned two others. Were they lost in the war? Cleo perished centuries before. The victim of an obsessed writer she'd spurned. He kept her in a cage as his personal muse. Ugh, that's pretty dark. It was. By the time we found her, she was already... Well, that's enough to say her captor didn't survive her for long. Talia, however, was lost to us on the very last day of the war. We were about to leave on the ship, but she just never showed up. Do you know what happened to her? I never found out. I worried for years, even hired people to look, but as far as I can tell, she up and vanished into smoke that day. The war had ground her down. I was upset, but not surprised. Okay, so I want to know more about you. I'd like to know a little more about you. All I know is you live in a dump, you have an oracle, and you... <laughs> I'm not sure what to tell you. One day has bled into the next for so long, I feel like I've been lost in the spaces in between. Wow, that's a bit dramatic. Yeah, well, it comes naturally. Music and the arts were once under my purview as a god. Hmm. How did that get decided? Did you have a big hat full of pieces of paper and you all picked at random? No, we chose them for ourselves. Some, at least. Others were given to us by our priests. We collected godly responsibilities like marbles. People collect marbles? Oh, um, or, uh, whatever it is mortals collect these days. Cars, perhaps? The point is, we took our godly duties very seriously. What were you like as a god? It must have been very different back when you were a proper god. I think most of us were. We saw ourselves as, I don't know, teachers. Mortals were our students and we guided them to enlightenment. We thought we were special, infallible, 
I was as magnificent as the sun, and I surrounded myself with those who basked in my radiance. That doesn't sound like you. <laughs> I was arrogant. If there was a man or woman I desired, then I had to have them, or there would be consequences. You wouldn't have liked me. I wouldn't have liked me. Okay, so uh, why is Persephone so angry So at you? what is Persephone's beef with you exactly? Is it just about what Hades did to her? That's no small thing. It seems more personal than that. I mentioned how Persephone's kidnapping almost meant war between Olympus and Hades, yes? Well, while this was all going on, Persephone managed to escape the underworld, and I'm the one she encountered first. Uh-oh. Hades was hot on her heels, and I had a choice. Either do battle with Hades and start the war right then and there, or let him take her back. Zeus would have had my head if I had sparked a war. Yet all I still think of were Persephone's eyes as Hades smugly took back his prisoner. It's not my finest moment. Have you ever tried therapy? Apollo, have you ever tried, I don't know, talking to someone about how you feel? I will never understand this modern fascination with therapy and focusing on one's feelings. <gasps> it might help. You never know. Yes, I've tried it. There was one I used to speak to. Hecate enchanted him never to reveal what I told him. It was... interesting. Frankly, my time with you has proven far more beneficial. I'm not a therapist, Apollo. I understand. And I don't mean to rely on you, only that... It makes me happy just to know you, Grace. It's hard to come to the Was new world? Was it hard for the idols to come to the new world? It's just a place like any other, isn't it? I don't think it was the place so much as the condition we were in. Shell-shocked, one might say. Our entire world had been turned upside down. Suddenly, we had rules. Secrecy was paramount, and no one was permitted to leave the city. Some, like my sister Artemis, couldn't abide it. Yeah, I've heard the name. Goddess of the Hunt. <laughs> and a wild thing herself, she... She left, I think. Faded away without a word. As many did in the early days mm. here. Yeah. I was wondering if she'd come up. Later, Athena became even more strict. For our own good, of course, but it hasn't been easy. This city has never felt like home so much as a temporary shelter. That's all for now. That's all I can think of for now. I'll see you around? Of course. I look forward to it. All right, so since we know this is our end destination, let's see. Um, let's go talk to Freddy. Hey, hey! So what's the news, Miss Muse? <laughs> Miss Muse. Does a muse have a proper form of address? I just want to hear what exciting adventures you've been having. <laughs> well, I uh, went to a party held by the goddess of love. I always miss the really good parties. Here I was, sitting at home, just reading a book. Everything else okay, though? Do we know who the killer is yet? Not just yet, no. Okay, well, let me know if there's anything I can do. If I have to hustle to become your high priestess, well, <coughs> so be it. Okay, how are uh, Kaz and Brian? How have the idols stayed a secret? What do you know about the gods? Let's ask about our friends. <laughs> What are Kaz and Brian up to? You didn't tell them anything, did you? No, oh, I told them you came home, that you're okay, but that you're having a moment. They send their love. Should we tell them, do you think? 
What for? They have their own problems. Plus, Brian can't keep a secret to save his life, and Kaz is officially homeless. Is he still <laughs> crashing on Brian's couch? Uh, Grace, you do know that Brian doesn't have a couch, right? Just some giant beanbag things? Then where is Kaz sleep? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cute. They'll tell us when they're ready. But right now, it's best just to not mix them up in this. Uh, sorry about I the band. should really apologize about the band. This kind of puts a dent in your plans, doesn't it? You're right, Grace. How dare you sabotage my dreams? I am so mad I could spit. You know what I mean. Nobody could have seen this coming, sure, but it's always been something with me. Well, as I see it, there are two ways this goes down. One, neither of us gets back to the band. It was just a thing we did for a while before I founded a cult in your name. Or two, we get back to it, and the band now has THE Muse as its lead singer. Edge of Elysium becomes the coolest and most appropriate band name ever. Ugh, I still really hate that name. Look, Grace, you can't be the source of all the drama and name the band, okay? That's the rule. <laughs> okay, so what do you know about exactly gods? how much do you know about the Greek gods, Freddy? I know my Greek mythology, but what I've read clearly doesn't line up with who they are today. Or who they ever were, maybe. It still might be useful. There's gotta be some truth to those stories, right? Maybe? Who do you want to hear about? Okay, of course we're gonna ask about Apollo first. What about Apollo? Okay, so the prophecy stuff checks out. Apollo was god of the sun and light, but also kind of of enlightenment in gen- He's always talked about as this beautiful and cultured god involved with the arts and the is kind of a renaissance man before the renaissance. He's clearly had a rough time since those days. Well, he was also a giant horn dog, Grace. I can list off like a dozen men and women Apollo has had as lovers, and there's probably more. Weren't they all like that, though? I mean, Apollo's no Zeus. He never assaulted anyone as a swan. And no, they aren't all like that. Our sun god had a reputation. <laughs> Let's ask about Persephone. Tell me what you know about Persephone. Honestly, she's the least like her stories. Usually, she's either a victim or just the wife of Hades, or both. And that's it? She was kidnapped by Hades? End of story? Well, pretty much. Her mother was so angry, she created winter. But otherwise, Persephone was just your average sweet and virginal fertility goddess. You're right. That doesn't sound like her at all. Must be hard to be defined by this one thing that happened to you thousands of years ago. I'd be pissed if everyone thought my story ended there. Well, she is pretty pissed. That much is true. Okay, let's ask about you Pan. You Pan was some kind of lust god, right? Yeah, kind of. Pan's a god of the wild, and I guess that translates into a sort of lustfulness and earthiness. Pumping nymphs in the forest sort of thing. And you don't like him. Honestly, he's exactly what I'd expect him to be. All the stories say he's a lech and a beast. The Christians equated him with the devil. Weirdly, he's also the only god who's supposed to have died, though it's never really clear how or why. <laughs> Anyhow, there's a great statue depicting Pan having sex with a goat. Next time you see him, <laughs> Well, let's ask about Calliope. Do you know anything about the Muses? Or Calliope in particular? Yeah, for starters, there were supposed to be nine. Though I guess there are some sources that said there were only four, maybe three. Each of the Muses had her specialty. Did you know that Calliope is supposed to be the Muse of epic poetry? She inspired the Odyssey. Wow, I don't even like poetry. Yeah, it was said her singing voice was unmatched. So they got that part right at least. Did she also lead the ancient Greeks in giant choreographed dance numbers? Mm, no, but she once turned a bunch of snobby princesses into magpies, or so that. Can't ask about Athena? What about Athena? Is she really supposed to be the goddess of wisdom? Sure, but mostly that's meant as tactical knowledge. Athena wasn't all sweetness and light, she was a warrior goddess. She was also the goddess of heroes. There are loads of stories where Athena helps guys like Odysseus or Jason or Perseus. No female heroes back in those days? Yeah, guess not. 
women were the weaker sex, which maybe is why Athena was portrayed as being vindictive. She cursed Medusa, one of her own priestesses, she turned people into spiders, struck them blind, started the Trojan War. It's the whole thing. Not being as wise as advertised is on brand for her, then. Okay, let's ask about the idols. Just how many of these gods are there? From what I've heard, lots of idols live around here. Well, there are tons of minor gods in Greek mythology. Hundreds, even, depending on how you define them. Oddly, there's never any mention of the word idols in relation to them. Maybe it's like how people worshipped idols? I sort of assumed it was related to the Eidolon. Which is a Greek word, but I think it means ghost. An image of someone after they die. Makes sense. Me? I were amazed at all the big names missing. Not just Zeus and Hades, most of the Olympians seem to be gone. Makes you think about what's been lost. But also, what might still be out there. Okay, so ask about other gods. there might be other gods out there? Well, there are all those gods the idols say wandered off. We don't know they're dead for sure, right? They could be living it up in Australia. Who would know? Then there are all the other mythologies, hundreds of cultures, each with their own pantheon. So what's so special about the Greeks? That only their gods are real, right? All those other pantheons could be living in secrecy, just like the idols. And that means they're hidden from each other, too. Oh, they could be everywhere, and no one would know. It's like a whole other secret side to the world. Yeah, it's cool, right? <laughs> I hope I get to meet Ganesha one day. Or maybe Lakshmi? <laughs> I just love the facial expressions they give her. They're so funny. Okay, enough about hmm. mythology. I wonder how much of those stories are true. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm giving you the quick version. There are reams of textbooks out there covering all this, but even they rarely agree with each other. Really? Nothing definitive? Ancient Greece was 3,000 years ago, Grace. Not much information survived all that time, if it was even valid to begin with. Okay, so I have the idols state a secret. You know what I find weird? That the idols have managed to remain completely secret all these years. Sure, they have magic and whatnot, but in all this time, nobody's found them out? Athena is that good? Who says nobody has found them out? The way I see it, it's like UFOs. Okay. I have to hear this. Okay, so you could have real evidence that UFOs exist and that governments have covered it up and people still wouldn't believe it. Why? Because they'd get laughed at if they admitted it. Imagine the headline. Greek gods exist and are living among us. What website would even run that? Weird conspiracy ones. Yeah, you're right. Okay, no more questions. Okay. That's enough questions for now. You sure? I can talk all day. You know I can. I'll check back with you soon, Freddy. Time for more mystery solving. Okay, so let's head to Persephone. That's funny, they took out Freddy, but Apollo's still on there, so... As I recall, Grace, when I said stay <coughs> or leave, you chose to leave. If it wasn't clear, I don't give second chances. Or did you have some other reason? I had a feeling she's going to be angry with me. Step. Okay, apologize for Apollo. I still need help. I wanted to see you. Can't I enjoy the club? Couldn't be here for the cool music and a drink. I definitely need one. Am I supposed to believe you're here to blow off steam? Why not? Don't you ever? Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Here I thought I could drink. Lady, you have my respect and admiration. <laughs> You'll have an idol's fortitude in time. Now, however, I need to call our little evening to an end. Well, I'm not romancing her, so uh, see you later. Will you help me now? Let's go ahead and ask that. I don't <clears throat> suppose our bonding time changed your mind even a teensy little bit. And here is the ulterior motive at last. <laughs> Can it be both? I like both. Let me be frank. I need my allies to be all in. You're not, and you never will be. One last word of advice before you go. If you want to survive, don't look to anyone else for help. Not Apollo, not Pan, not even me. You walked away from my offer, and I respect that. Make your choices 
and live with them. I wonder if I would have just left if she would have still not have offered me anything. Okay, since Apollo is on here, I'm going to check one more time. See if there's anything with him. Because I would have thought he would have been taken off the map, but it could just be like last time, so. Oh. Hello again. Hello yourself. <laughs> Ugh. Get a room, both of you. Oh, she's back. I want to thank you for the other day, Grace. <clears throat> I won't forget our walk anytime soon. <laughs> I should hope not. Is there uh, something you came to talk about? No, thanks. Just came to stare at you. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'll see you later, Apollo. Okay, so there was nothing new there. So let's check out the journal real quick. Okay, so nothing new there. Let's see if there's anything new with Calliope since we've learned some new stuff. Okay, so Apollo finally told me about Calliope, how she took care of the idols during their darkest days after the war, how she was the idealist without compromise, and that's what the last fight between them was about, how she was once a man named Kristoff. I really wish I'd known her before all this happened. I guess I will someday. Okay, so... Let's see if there's anything new on Aphrodite. Okay, nope. I'm sure there will be on Apollo, though. Okay, so did you know Apollo's name used to be Lucas? Or I guess it's better to say that that's the name of the person he was passed on to, which is now him. Lucas was like me until Apollo's memories came back. I'll never get used to this. Did you know Apollo once had a son? It seems so strange. I guess because the idols talk so much about being related, even though they're not. I assume they couldn't be. They just chose not to. I guess outliving their kids is, a, is as bad as it gets, huh? I asked Apollo about what happened during the war, and he casually mentioned that it was one of his prophecies which prompted Ares to betray the idols. Ares did, uh, did it because he was sure the idols were doomed anyway. Yeah, maybe prophecies are more trouble than they're worth. Okay, nothing there. Okay, so Apollo finally explained what Profes uh, Persephone's real beef with him was about. When she managed to escape from the underworld with Hades hot on her heels, when she finally got to Olympus, the idol she ran into was Apollo, and he did nothing to help her. I'm trying to imagine what it would have been like to be dragged away by smug Hades while the brother you thought would help, um, who had uh, to know how desperate you were, just stood there and let it happen. Apollo had no choice, but Persephone couldn't have known that. How awful a moment that it would have been for both of them. Well, so much for that. I went back to the underworld and tried to smooth things over with Persephone, but I think walking out with Apollo has ended any chance of her helping me. Too bad, because I felt like I was getting through to her a bit. But there's this wall she has up that she just won't let me past. Okay. Nothing new with them. Okay, so that should be about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to Pan. I'd say hello, Grace, but I'm afraid that look on your face might be catching. I just... What is this place? It's a garden, darling. Surely even mortals have them. <sighs> this building... All those people I pass getting up here. Are they all idols? Oh, well, at least some of them. Welcome to Olympus, dear Grace. Our home hidden away in plain sight. Marvelous, isn't it? Is Olympus hidden? How many idols are there? You asked me to come, so let's... I've passed this part of the city a hundred times. I've never seen this building. Was it always here? Or... Our Lady Hecate provides glamours that allow certain things to go unseen, such as my glorious horns. Olympus is the same, 
Those invited see it. Those who aren't see exactly what they expect. It's not anywhere as grand as in the old country, but it, it serves its purpose. I don't know, Pam. Olympus seems pretty grand to me. As if mortals would know any better. This isn't the first time you've been here. I'm sure Hermes took you to Athena's dreary office. Uh, that's here? Huh. Good one, that Hermes. Almost as dull-witted as the original, but biddable. <laughs> so how many idols how are many there? How many idols are there? I've met, what, less than 12? Oh, I don't know. 20? 30? Our numbers have dwindled so much I've stopped keeping track. I didn't know there were that many gods. We're not all equally legendary, it's true. Some idols were barely worshipped, others not at all. Indeed, not all of us are idols. Some are merely immortal. Hangers on, if you will. You'll meet them all, given time. Okay, do most idols live idols here? Idols live here? I mean, Calliope didn't, obviously. Apollo doesn't either. One must have special dispensation from Our Lady of Wisdom, Athena, before they can take up a private dung heap like Apollo's. Am I going to have to give up my apartment? <laughs> That's rather putting the cart before the horse, darling. First, you must outlive the weak. Right. Good point. You asked me to meet you here? I did. As I recall, you owe me a favor. A favor that I now wish to collect, if you'd be so kind. I was expecting this. I'm not breaking rules for you. Apollo was right about you. Uh, let's say this one. Figured as much. Apollo was right about you. <laughs> Dear sweet, suspicious Apollo. Boring Apollo. What have I ever done to you? Here's the thing. A friend has begged for my help, and you're far better suited than I to offer what he requires. I'll give you a key to reach the reliquary where he resides. You help him, and then we're even. If that's not enough incentive, the reliquary is also where you'll find the lovely Hecate. A sorceress of her power could aid your quest. Hmm, I'm looking to see how they made her look, too. Say? Okay, would Hecate really help me? This Hecate. Do you think she could help me? If she's of a mind. She is the goddess of dark magic, the creator of all our marvelous glamours. If anyone can help you, it is she. And if she's not of a mind? Then she won't help you. Grace, that part is up to you. I can't be expected to do everything, can I? Technically not doing anything, but... Okay, what kind of favor is this? This person I'm to help. What does he want? And why can't you do it? Well, Grace, there are some things you're better equipped to handle than I. This, as I understand it, is a delicate matter of the heart. One that requires a muse's hand. A matter of the heart? What, did you think I was sending you to rough someone up? Set something aflame? Don't be absurd. The man has an issue with his love life. Even if you can't help him, I'll treat the effort as worth the favor. And that's it. So that's it? Fix up someone's love life? Nothing trickier than that? Oh, the way you talk, Grace. It makes me blush. Well, it's just that... I trade in willing favors, Grace. If I didn't, no one would want to do as I ask, and then where would I be? I may seem untrustworthy, but allow me to reassure you. If I wish you harm, you will walk into that harm knowingly. And with hope in arms. <laughs> Very slight tongue. Did Calliope do that? That's reassuring. Okay, I get it. Let's... What about Calliope? Did she walk into harm knowingly and with open arms? You tell me. I could deny it, of course, but if you choose not to believe anything I say, I don't what's know. the point of asking the question? Okay, what is a reliquary? What is this reliquary? Doesn't that have something to do with the bones of saints or something? 
<laughs> Not those relics. Our relics. The relics of ancient gods. Magical treasures collected over thousands of years. Books, mainly. We store them in a faraway place so no one unsavory can get their hands on them. Unsavory like you? Unsavory like most. <laughs> Athena has decreed that these relics are not to be used by any, save Hecate and herself. A rather dull waste of so much amassed knowledge and power, but who am I to judge? I'm not leader of the chorus. Okay, is the reliquary dangerous? If these relics are off limits. Does that mean they're dangerous? Some. But I'm not asking you to chase after any of that nonsense. In fact, I'd advise against it. But what if one of those relics could help me? <laughs> my, my, such an adventurer you are. It's possible, but ask Hecate first. She, and I mean this with complete and uncharacteristic seriousness, is not an idol you or anyone wishes to cross. So I'll consider it. I'll think about it, but no promises. Marvelous. The gentleman you seek is named Asterian. Lovely fellow, quite harmless. Now, if there's nothing else you need. So what do you know about Medusa? So that depends. What can you tell me about Medusa? That is a rather peculiar subject change. Her name came up at Aphrodite's party. I'd like to look into it. You'll find Medusa at a dingy little club appropriately named the Viper's Nest. Give her my regards. Do tell me you'll be careful if you go there, Grace. Medusa is a hideous creature and should be treated as such. <clears throat> She's only made hideous because of Athena taking everything out on her. You know, with Medusa being assaulted by a was a Poseidon, and then Athena blamed her. I mean, that was kind of crappy. Uh, so it was okay. Uh, I give up. How does one treat a hideous creature? With a great deal of respect, if you know what's good for you. I'll send a package to your domicile that contains directions and the key you'll need to reach the reliquary. I said no promises. Well, if you decide to go, Grace, you'll still need all those things. Say hello to darling Hecate on my behalf, will you? Okay, so we've got Medusa's Lair, the Reliquary. Let's see if we can talk to Apollo about what Pan just told us. It's lovely to see you again, Grace. You are always welcome. Is there uh, something you came to talk about? Oh, okay, so we can. No, I was hoping okay. we could discuss it with them. I'll see you later, Apollo. All right, so I really want to meet Medusa. I don't think I want to do the reliquary just yet. Okay, so I went to see Pan in his natural habitat this time. Which, it turns out, is a giant garden on the roof of a magic office building. Go figure. Anyhow, he's calling in a favor I owe him and sending me to some place called the Reliquary. Which I get to be... Uh, which I get to by using a magic key and finding a shipping container at the docks to fix an idol's love life. Weird, but okay. I guess I assume Pan's favors would involve, I don't know, mysterious things, illegal things. There has to be more to this. You see, I don't trust him... So, I don't know if I want to go to the rare quality. But see, he tells me to do that for his favor. I'm going to go to Medusa's lair. I really want to see her. I want to see how they designed her anyway. So, and I don't trust Pan. So, this must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town. No sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. 
Grace, of all the places to run into a friend. Han, what are you doing here? I'm the one who told you about this place. You didn't expect my curiosity to get the better of me. If you're worried, tell me the truth. I could use your help. Let's go tell you the truth. You aren't just curious, Pam. Why are you really here? The truth this time. I need to have some dastardly ulterior motive other than to be of assistance for shame, Grace. Mm. Oh, okay. I simply thought there is no way Grace knows what she's getting into there. I do admire how ably you handle yourself. Even so, surely some advice would go awry. Hey, can Medusa really turn people to stone? Is Medusa really a spy master? What's your advice? Let's go Medusa is the one who turns people into stone just by looking at them, right? People, yes. Idols, not so much. Or that's my assumption. I'll admit to not knowing if she's ever turned her gaze on one of us. I could go in there and boom, statue time? Hmm, maybe. Probably not. Okay, so is Medusa really a spy master? Paul said she's some kind of spy master for Athena. Is that right? A truer description, I'd say, is that she's more Athena's servant. Poor thing can't survive on her own. So she's become whatever Athena needs. Spy master, enforcer, provider of garden statuary. She sounds terrifying. More importantly, Grace, she's clever. Medusa will be no simple target. What's Medusa really like? Medusa's clever and works for Athena, but what's she really like? Uh, she doesn't exactly come to the parties, Grace. Medusa is an enigma to most of us. If idols hide in the shadows, she lurks in even darker places. She's an outsider, and she loathes us as much as she needs us. Is she dangerous? Let's just say we're all rather relieved she stays away. Okay, so what's your advice? If you have any advice, Pan, I'm all ears. Well, I assume you know how Medusa became what she is. Apollo mentioned it, yeah. It is a sad, sad tale. Athena cursed her. A travesty of justice if there ever was one. Thing is... Athena no longer has the power to undo the curse. Or so she says. What I'm trying to say is that Medusa is not happy about it. Perhaps that's something you can use. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. See? That's the spirit. Now there's simply the matter of getting <clears throat> you in before she's aware you're here. And you'll help me with that? As best I can, certainly. Though I do hope you have some kind of plan. A word of advice before we proceed. Once you find Medusa, make the number a knockout. Mm. Yeah, I'm a singing battle, so. Use a distraction, find another entrance, confront the enforcer. Let's try a distraction. Because he looks like he ain't gonna move. I didn't see any other entrances. I mean, maybe there's something on a roof, but let's just try a distraction. My good man! What in the three hells is the meaning of this? Sir, you're gonna have to- I'm going to have to what? Do you have any idea what it took for me to come all this way? <clears throat> I am a producer? A producer of records? Really, that's yes. what he chose to go Records. with? Records, and, and that makes me very Nicely important done. in the I'll just keep industry of record producing. Around. I... Where uh, is the entourage to greet me, I ask? How do you think this treatment will reflect upon your mistress? I am offended. <laughs> offended! <laughs> His voice actor's good. Oh crap, her man, her teeth. Such a long day. Dreaming of tonight. This sacred bird. Hello, who's that there? You've messed up my flow. Just get your drink, girl, and take your seat. 
Stop it, Pan! You have no right to interfere! It's been a long time since I've played these. Good to know the old pipes are still warm. Okay, what was that? Be careful, Pan. Good thing you're here. Uh, let's tell him to be careful. Careful there, Pan. This one comes with an appetite. So I see. <laughs> I am a man of rarefied taste myself, but this is rather next level. Big on, Pest. How dare you invade my sanctum. Oh, I see. W would you prefer I resume playing? Hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty news? <laughs> you try to eat Calliope, too. You don't know. Do you know what happened to Calliope? Isn't it obvious? Tell us what you know about Calliope's death. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. <coughs> I didn't touch her. I didn't even know she'd been attacked until I saw her flee. Brace looks like pan and confusion, he shrugs. Did not even know that much. This is the same reliquary where your friend is? The one who needs the favor? There is only the one. She was at the reliquary the eve she died, but I? I had no part in the muse's death. Like we believe you who attacked Calliope. You didn't tell Athena. Why were you following Calliope? You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's finest in this. <clears throat> Calliope has been trouble from time to time. Trouble enough to keep an eye on. I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed her. I had a duty to Athena. <clears throat> Find out why Calliope was Did there. Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse flee. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. A tasty snack for you to hunt down. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. Uh-huh. <sighs> and you wonder why I said nothing to anyone. After all, who would believe ugly, monstrous Medusa? I'm sorry, she kind of sounded like Moaning Myrtle there at the end. It's just kind of funny. Uh, who attacked Calliope? You didn't tell Athena. Okay, so let's ask you. said Calliope was attacked. Who could have done it? I thought it might have been Asteria. <clears throat> I saw the great beast chasing her, as I was. Oh, that seems rather unlikely. The bull's as gentle as a lamb. It was not him, alas. He was as confused as I, and not a drop of the muse's blood on him. But I realized it is too late. So what happened in the reliquary? I never entered, so I do not know. A question for Asterion and Hecate. Okay, so you didn't tell Athena? You haven't told Athena any of... Now, now. Don't make me charm it out of you, my dear. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. So Athena knows Calliope was attacked there? Yes, no. If she does, surely not by whom. I am but guessing, however. Lady Athena tells me oh so very little. So how can we believe you? Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? I am telling you the truth. One that conveniently paints you as innocent. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. I've been working on it. I really have. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe what a monster tells you. But it is true. Medusa just has the saddest story ever. And, you know, she didn't bring any of it on to herself, and it's just an awful, awful story. And yet she calls herself a monster, even though it's... She looks like one, but, you know, she shouldn't feel like one. So I've asked enough okay, questions. let's say we believe you. For the moment. 
Whatever you do, pretty girls, I beg you. Do not do anything more than my indiscretion. Show mercy. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed. And this before I think about it, you're choking, right? I I don't understand why she's saying you're joking. Like, like why wouldn't I tell Athena? I don't know. Uh, I'll just go with I'll think about Indiscretion, it. Indiscretion, huh? It's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak in the face of it. I'll think about it. I am lost and cursed thing. No idea. If Lady Athena should learn the truth. I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. And sing the difference. Oh, that so, was like heroes before you, achievement. Now I just have to decide if I believe her. Hey, everything okay over there? Hmm? Oh, yes. Just thinking of the war. How it was at the very end. Some of us argued we should leave Medusa behind. That she didn't deserve the safety we'd find in the new world. They're probably right. What do you think? She didn't ask to be cursed. I'm going she with that She didn't ask sure. to become what she is. We idols were petty and cruel. We lorded over mortals because we could. We didn't learn our lesson until the war. By then it was too late, wasn't it? Certainly for Medusa. <laughs> ah, such thoughts run contrary to my bon vivant spirit, do they not? <laughs> Come to me once you've gone to the reliquary, Grace. I look forward to your visit. If it isn't, uh, the lovely Grace? You knew! Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night! Well, yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her, no questions asked. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope, and that's the truth. I did not. So I nudged you in the right direction. And lied about, and lied about why, uh, why did you do that? Why, what aren't you telling me? So you were what? Just trying to be helpful? <clears throat> you still aren't telling me something. What possible reason would I have to- Tell me, right now. Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently... Okay, I don't believe you sold her out. Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do you, what do you mean, in my way? What is, what, what way is that? Uh, the way where I don't take all the blame. What uh, else will I discover, Pan? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. Okay, so let's, um, 
Okay, so we're on day four now. So we're going to go ahead and end it there. Hopefully you're enjoying Stray Gods. When we come back in the next playthrough for day four, we're going to go to the Reliquary and see if we can complete Pan's task. Uh, please let me know what you think about the game uh, down below in the comments. Please me leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Bye.